Molly McDonough from Boston University, and I don't know about you, but when I cook for a group of people, I like to make something a little bit extra special. So today, I'm going to show you how to make a white lasagna with caramelized onions and mushrooms. To start, I'm going to show you how to caramelize the onions. This is a process that kind of takes a long time, but it's totally worth it in the end. So I'm going to start by putting down a little bit of extra virgin olive oil in the bottom of the pan, and then I'm going to add a whole bunch of onions that I've already chopped up into slices. Now for this recipe, I've used about four onions. They're medium-sized yellow onions, and they cook down. They become really, really sweet. So it may look like a lot of onions, but they'll shrink when they cook. I'm going to cook them over low heat for about 30 to 40 minutes, stirring until they get really, really brown and really sweet. So while the onions cook down, I'm going to get started on the sauce. It's a bechamel sauce. So here we've started with about four cups of whole milk. And I know, yes, whole milk has a little bit higher fat content than is exactly what you want, but I guarantee you it will make the whole thing a little bit more delicious, and since you're cooking for guests, it's kind of worth it. So I'm going to start by heating the milk over medium heat, just until it's about simmering so that it's warm when we're ready to start with the actual sauce. Okay, so now that the milk has come to a simmer, I'm going to start with the sauce. So I'm going to start with one stick of butter, and I'm putting this into a different saucepan. So the milk is still on the stove, but this is a new, a new pot. So one stick of butter. I'm going to melt that over medium heat. So now that the butter has melted, I'm going to add in half a cup of flour. And the flour is going to help this sauce thicken up once we add the milk. So half a cup of flour. I'm going to whisk it all together. And I'm going to let the flour cook for one minute just to kind of get rid of that floury taste. Remember, you want to be very careful to make sure that this doesn't burn, so I'm going to stir the whole time. Okay, and then after a minute, I'm going to add all of the milk at once. And stir the whole thing together. I'm going to let this cook over medium-low heat for about three to five minutes and then it will be done. We'll add a couple of spices in, and we'll season the whole thing. And that'll be the sauce. Okay, and then the last thing I'm gonna do for the sauce is I'm gonna add some salt, pepper, and nutmeg. So I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of nutmeg, and this is just a freshly grated nutmeg. Remember, nutmeg is a really, really strong spice, so you wanna make sure that you don't add too much, because it can be very, very overpowering very quickly. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of pepper. And I'm just going to add some salt. Okay, so the onions are done. And they look so good, so yummy and brown and caramelly. So I'm going to take them and I'm going to put them in a Tupperware for later. Okay, and then I'm going to use the same pan to saute the mushrooms really quickly before they go into the lasagna, and then we put the whole thing together. So, here's a package of mushrooms that I, they're baby portobello. Normally I would use whole portobello for this, but I couldn't find a dec decent ones at the store. So I'm going to start again with some extra virgin olive oil, and I'm going to heat it all over medium heat. and throw in the mushrooms. And remember when you're working with mushrooms, they grow in the ground, so there's a chance that there'll be some dirt in the package of mushrooms. So just take a dry paper towel and wipe the dirt off before you slice them. These should take about three to five minutes to cook just until they get a little bit soft and the juices start coming out. Okay, and then I'm going to assemble the lasagna in a couple of steps. So I'm gonna start out with a layer of the sauce. I'm going to it just down on the bottom of the pan just to prevent the lasagna from sticking. Okay, and then I'm going to add the first layer of noodles. And these are just regular lasagna noodles that I boiled for about eight minutes in just water with a little bit of salt and a little bit of olive oil. I'm going to make a very, very thin layer, making sure that they are lined up next to each other but that they don't overlap. Next, I'm going to add another layer of sauce right on top. I'm going to add our vegetables, so I'm going to use about a third of the onions and about a third of the mushrooms. 
Okay, I'm going to top off this layer with a little bit of grated Parmesan cheese. Okay, and then I'm just going to repeat those steps over and over again until we've got three layers. So another layer of noodles, sauce, some vegetables, and some Parmesan. This is ready to go in the oven. Now the nice thing about this is that I can either bake it in the oven right now or I can leave it in the refrigerator overnight and I can let it come to room temperature and bake it tomorrow. So if you want to make this ahead of time, if you don't have a lot of time before dinner today, you can do it in previous days and then finish it later. But I'm going to put this in the oven now for about 45 minutes without any top on it. The top will get all brown and really delicious. So when it comes out of the oven, let it cool for 15 minutes and then serve into the oven. Okay, so 45 minutes are up and I'm going to take the lasagna out of the oven. And that's it. So I'm going to let this sit for 15 minutes before serving just so that it cools down. And this is a really easy, easy meal to share with an entire group of people with all your friends or even with your family when you're home. I'll see you next time.